96.1 The Eagle. I'm Cindy McMullen. On the phone with me, Eyewitness News Chief Meteorologist Rachel Witter. How are you, Rachel? Pretty good. A little under the weather, so I apologize for my voice being a little weird. I've but. noticed that <laughs> during the week with the forecast. Yeah, I'm like, oh, Rachel has a cold. Uh, yep. <laughs> well, feel better soon. We have got a big event happening on Sunday, a supermoon lunar eclipse. So what does that actually mean, Rachel? Yeah, this is super cool. It's actually a combination of a few events. Um, lunar eclipses happen pretty often, actually, and obviously full moons do too. But this one is a combination of those. Um, we're actually going to have a super moon. Um, that's when the moon is full and it's closest in its orbit to the Earth. So it's uh, a little bit bigger and a little bit brighter than your average full moon. And then this is going to coincide with the lunar eclipse. So we're pretty lucky in that respect. Um, Basically, the moon moves out of the Earth's shadow, and the Earth is parked right between the the moon and the sun. And this is going to happen on Sunday. The last one is actually 1982, and the next one will be... 2033. So this is kind of a rare, cool event. Um, It will also be a blood moon. So this thing is going to look kind of orangish red um, in the process. And uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty cool. You have to have all the the events kind of line up for something like this to happen. So this is a a pretty cool thing that's going to happen for us on Sunday. Now, how does the weather look? This will happen Sunday night into Monday, correct? Yes, this is going to start. It actually begins at 10, 11 p.m. on Sunday night, and uh, it lasts until 11, 23, so just over an hour. So it's a pretty quick thing, but uh, you will have time to, to get out and see it. And fortunately for us, I think in parts of the Mohawk Valley, I think we are going to have some cloud cover, but because this thing is pretty bright, it's a pretty big event, I think we will be able to see at least part of it. Unfortunately, it's not going to be, you know, something you'll see in, like, National Geographic here or anything like that. It's not going to be perfect viewing conditions, but uh, with some of the clouds breaking up a little bit, I think we'll be able to see at least part of it. You definitely will see parts of the super moon because it's, it's brighter and bigger. Um, so you want to get out between, again, 10, 11 p.m. and 11, 23, and when it's perfectly in the middle of this event, it's 10, 48 PM. Okay, 1048. Yeah. So for our astronomers out there, <laughs> you need to have everything set up by 1048 to get those pictures and hopefully we'll have a nice clear view. Yeah. And this thing is, lunar eclipses are actually pretty cool. We have solar eclipses every so often too, but those are a little bit more dangerous because you can't look directly at the sun, but you can look directly at the moon. So this one is, is, you know, kind of similar to that night, and it'll be the moon, and uh, you can look directly at it, which is pretty cool. All right. Well, thank you for your expertise, Rachel. You're welcome. I do what I can. Okay. That was Eyewitness News Chief Meteorologist Rachel Witter. You can check out her forecast all the time on 96.1 The Eagle.